Hey friends, welcome back to the Robin Graham show. We are here today for the 200th episode. I can't even believe this. It, it's just kind of a dream come true, I guess. You know, it's I'm just this person behind a mic and we've created 200 episodes worth of content. And I have to say that the journey has been a little bit on the wild side. You know, I started this podcast back in 2020 and then we had COVID. So that was interesting. And when I started the show, I started it with the thought in mind that I would share stories of people who were on their second phase, just like I was the second part of their career. However, what I realized was that Although that was great and that was somewhat inspiring, we tended to get off track and I really wanted to provide value for entrepreneurs. I wanted to to provide value that could help you, the listeners, launch your businesses for long-term success, build those strong foundations that can keep you moving forward with lifelong potential. And so I shifted gears in 2021 and we changed the name of the show to the Robin Graham show. And it's more on brand for me. And it gives me more flexibility to not only talk to people who might be in the second phase of their career as an entrepreneur, but focus more on a variety of topics. Those topics like entrepreneurship, building a business, building a personal brand, mental health and the challenges they're in mindset and those barriers that can hold us back and prevent us from moving forward. And also faith. Um, you all know by now that I'm a Christian and that the value of faith is one of my values that I hold very near and dear to my heart. And it's something that I'm not willing to sway on. And so for me, I wanted to bring more of that into this show and I work primarily with Christian entrepreneurs. Do I limit that? No. If you're not a Christian and you want to hire me as your business coach, I'd be more than happy to help you. However, I do like to incorporate my faith into what I'm doing. I think that's very important for my own personal growth as well as the growth of my clients. So as we move into this new season of the Robin Graham show, it's, it's very exciting for me. I feel like I have more strategy now. I have grown tremendously as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a human being. And a lot of that is attributed to the coaching that I have been ha experiencing behind the scenes with my coaches. And I think it's so beneficial to have people like that in your life to help you stay grounded, stay focused, and to move yourself forward. Um, we're faced so many with so many distractions every single day in our life. And this is something that I'm very passionate about trying to limit those distractions. So I have to tell you about what I'm doing this month. I'm doing a month of detox. I am completely off of social media. I'm not on Instagram. I'm not on Facebook. I am also doing dry September. So I'm not drinking alcohol now. Alcohol was not a problem for me before, but during the summer months, we tend to drink wine a lot when we're sitting outside and, you know, with a family or having barbecues or whatever. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to see if I can do this. And I was inspired by, um, one of our guests that we had back. Oh gosh. When did I have her on the show a while ago. Um, but I was inspired by her and I was inspired by a couple of other people who have gone alcohol free. And I thought I'm going to try this and just see if I can do it. Number one. And number two, if it makes a difference in my life. So I'll be reporting back to you on my experience of this month of detox in a future show towards the beginning of October. Once I, you know, have really had a chance to, to get through the month and then evaluate it and see what are the lessons that I learned from this? So stay tuned for that episode. And if anyone who wants to join me for the remainder of the month, I would love to have you. Now, I will say that I have checked in with Instagram a couple of times to make sure I didn't miss any DMs. And I can tell you that nothing has changed. My reels are still getting views. My follower count has stayed the same. Nothing drastic has changed. So if you are someone who's thinking about doing this, now's the time. Now's the time to sit back and start focusing on your fourth quarter goals and 
remove yourself from any distractions. And that is the biggest reason why I got off of social media was to remove the distractions out of my life. So, okay. With all of that said, we are going to talk today. I thought it would be a great time to really dive in before the fourth quarter to talk about my purpose to results method. So it's relatively new in terms of the, the trademark product of purpose to results method. Uh, it's what I have been doing with my coaching clients for the past couple of years. And it's a program that works. And the reason it works is because it, it combines these three things. It combines mindset, strategy, and action. And when I talk about action, I talk about intentional action, effective action, the action that you're taking that is actually going to move you forward instead of taking action, doing things that are not moving your business forward. So I'm going to dive into the details of this. It's a five-step program, five things that we incorporate into the program to help you ensure that you're moving forward in the right direction to, to build that long-term foundation, that strong foundation for long-term success. So I'm going to dive into that. But before I do, I want to announce... We had one person who participated in the giveaway, and that person is Lori Rosalowski. And I am super excited to dive into her website and do a website review for her. And I will be emailing her to let her know how to schedule that. So Lori, I'm super excited and congratulations on the win. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for leaving a rating and review and sharing it on social media. So thank you all. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for number one, following along with the show and number two, supporting me in any way that you have over the past couple of years as we've built the show and we've grown our followers and we've grown our, our reviews. And most importantly, we've grown the number of downloads. So thank you so much for being here. I am eternally grateful and I hope that you will stay along on this journey with me as we continue to move forward and create great content to help you grow as a human and as an entrepreneur. All right. So I'm going to dive into right now, what is the purpose to results method? Well, to start, it's my signature program to help Christian entrepreneurs start, grow, or scale their business. I created it to help my clients achieve complete clarity around their God-led calling and purpose. Thus, in the title, Purpose overcome mindset barriers, create a brand marketing strategy, navigate the challenges of tech, tools, systems, and processes that can be so overwhelming, and take intentional, effective action to build a solid foundation for long-term success of your brand and business. Now, if you're curious what a strong or solid foundation actually means, if you go to the show notes, there will be a link to a blog post on what a strong foundation or a solid foundation is. Basically, in a nutshell, it's it's that foundation for your business. It's kind of like if you think about building a home, you're not going to furnish the home until the house is built. It's the same thing. You aren't going to piecemeal your business. You're going to start at the bottom and you're going to build it up. So those tools, those systems, those processes, all of those things are going to start from the bottom and you're going to build your personal brand up. And then you're going to create your brand marketing strategy and you're going to work on mindset at the same time. And all of these things are going to come together to build that solid foundation so that you're not backpedaling. You're not having to backtrack to try to move yourself forward. You're going to be moving yourself forward, advancing your business, growing as a human, while you're building that foundation so that the the potential for lifelong success is created from the beginning, which I think is so super exciting. And it's not something that I did in the beginning. I had to do a lot of backpedaling. And that is why I'm so passionate about helping you not have to do that too. All right. So let's dive into this five part program, the purpose to results method. And we're going to start with the first part, which is clarity. Clarity is important so that you can identify your soulmate client, those people that you want to work with and can serve, that you can help, and only you can help them in the way that you can help them. Likewise, it is important to have clarity around your God-led calling and purpose so that you can create content that will resonate with your soulmate client. 
Creating content that connects will help you build an emotional connection with your ideal clients, those soulmate clients that you're truly meant to work with, that your God is calling you to serve, that they are just hanging out out there waiting for you to show up and serve them. And the only way they're going to be able to find you is through that content that you publish, that message that you create to let them know that you're there for them. You want to build that emotional connection and that's going to help build trust. And once trust is built, you will begin to build relationships. Relationships help you become memorable and shareable and convert contacts to clients. In addition, you must have clarity around your purpose to build a personal brand. It is important to note that a lack of clarity around your purpose or your God-led calling is going to result in doubt. If you are in a place of doubt, you will not build confidence and trust with your audience your confidence exudes. And when you have confidence, your people will have confidence in you. If there is not confidence and if there is doubt from you on your end, the result is going to be confusion and confused people do not buy. Some signs of a lack of clarity around your purpose include doubt, fear, the inability to create content, the inability to focus, feelings of overwhelm, frustration, a lack of strategy, procrastination, feeling stuck, or like you are spinning in circles and going nowhere in your business, not converting those contacts to clients, the inability to see your gifts, talents, and how you can help others based on your experiences and your life journey that led you to exactly where you are today or a lack of confidence in and around your business. So the set that's clarity. That was number one in the five part program. The second part is mindset barriers. Mindset barriers are the same as mindset blocks. I like the term barrier because to me, it's just, it's a visual, right? Something's really in my way. Your mind gets stuck in a negative place and negative thoughts that ultimately hold you back. Remember, your thoughts produce your results. Mindset barriers present as doubt, hesitation to take action, a lack of clarity, lack of confidence, feeling stuck. And the biggest thing that mindset barriers will create is procrastination. Oftentimes, mindset barriers result in analysis paralysis or trying many different things to build your business with nothing working to help you achieve your ultimate goals. Mindset barriers may trigger anxiety and worry. You may feel like a failure because of mindset barriers. Your mind may be telling you that your mistakes are failures versus learning opportunities. Quite frequently, people are frustrated because nothing is working. And they blame many other things for the reason that they are being held back. And it often takes an outside person, that eagle-eyed view, to identify that it's actually those mindset barriers that are holding you back versus all of the things you're doing. This, and we'll get to this in a little bit, but this ties into that intentional action. If you have mindset barriers and you're taking action, you're not taking intentional effective action because you have confusion. And so you're trying all these these things and you're doing all these things that you see other people doing on social media, but they aren't the things that are gonna work for you as your genuine, authentic self. Mindset barriers often cause people to stay in a place of inaction. And it makes sense, right? When you have mindset barriers, you are more likely to compare and despair instead of taking intentional action. The good news is that you can change your mindset and the neural pathways in your brain and begin to think more positively, thus producing more results more positive results, and achieving your goals. Part three is a brand marketing strategy. This is part, I love this part. So the first part of any brand marketing strategy is to create that personal brand. Once your personal brand is established, it is time to communicate with your audience and tell them what makes you unique. What makes you unique? This is where your story comes into play, your experiences, your journey, everything that you've you've gone through in your life to bring you to this point in today. Personal branding is differentiating yourself so that you stand out as the expert that you are and that it explains to people how you can help them. And it lets people know that they are your soulmate clients. 
Your brand marketing strategy is the strategy you create to market your brand and business to those soulmate clients. For example, where can you reach them? What marketing tools and platforms should you use? In my program, I teach you email marketing, Pinterest marketing, social media marketing, YouTube channel creation and use for videos, podcasting, LinkedIn, blogging, SEO. If any of these things are not part of your current strategy, then there's opportunity for growth. But it's also very important to know that we identify which platforms are going to be the best for you. We identify where your soulmate clients are hanging out and where you're going to be your most genuine and authentic self for producing that content, publishing that content, sharing that content, and building those connections that will ultimately convert to relationships, trust, and then sales. Is it one platform or is it multiple platforms that you should be using? And this is an individual, very specific question for each person. It's not one and done. It's not the same for every single person out there. How can you simplify the strategies so that you are consistent, so that you're not overwhelmed, you're not frustrated, you're not spinning in circles anymore? A brand marketing, stra a brand marketing strategy, sorry about that, also includes a sales process. And no brand marketing strategy is complete without a PR strategy. The key to successful brand marketing strategies is to create messaging that resonates and connects with your soulmate clients, differentiate you from all others in your area of expertise, and builds trust with your ideal audience so that they know exactly how you will help them. The fourth part of the program is tools, tech, systems, and processes. With every brand marketing strategy, you need to have technology and tools to automate your business and make life easier. In addition to have a successful business, you need to have systems and processes in place, but which systems and processes do you need and how can you automate them and ensure someone else can run your business in the event you can't be there or to save you time, energy, and money? Tech tools and systems processes go hand in hand, but it can be very overwhelming to decipher which to invest in, which are easiest to use, and which will simplify your business and your life <laughs> and help you best implement your brand marketing strategy. Automation is critical for maintaining sanity as you grow and scale your business. Do you need a fancy funnel system? Maybe some people do then which one is the best for you? And if not, which I personally do not think you need a fancy funnel system, I think you can create so many things cost-effectively to um, create a funnel without having click funnels or some of these fancy expensive funnels that are just overwhelming to set up and start using. But which ones and how do you automate them? or which ones, I should say, which ones are going to be best for you and how do you automate them? And how can you connect your platforms and systems to another technology? All of these things are things that we work on uh, behind the scenes, how to track your um, KPIs, your key performance indicators, all of these things. And this is all stuff that I get super geeky about teaching because I just love it. And I think it's so important and so critical for, like I said, building that foundation so you can have long-term success. All right, I digress. Number five, the fifth part of the program is action. Intentional, effective action leads to results. If you have been sitting in a place where you're taking action with no results, why aren't they working? Why are those action steps that you've been taking not working? There's always a reason. And a lot of times that circles back to those mindset barriers. But your action should be intentional and it should be effective for reaching your goals. Your results create motivation. So when you're taking intentional action and you do produce results, your results are going to create motivation. You're going to be more excited to keep going, to keep doing work. Motivation creates progress and progress creates momentum. Momentum keeps you moving forward to achieve your goals. 
The results of taking intentional action include attracting your soulmate clients, building relationships, converting sales, making money, making an impact, which we're all called to do, and achieving your goals. So you can see from these five steps of this program or these five parts, these five, five components of the purpose to results method, you can see how starting with clarity around your purpose is critical to taking intentional and effective action. Clarity cannot be achieved if you are sitting in a place of negative thoughts and doubt. Likewise, you will not be able to create an effective brand marketing strategy without clarity and a positive mindset. Similarly, it is so necessary to understand the tech tools, systems, and processes to effectively implement that brand marketing strategy that's going to launch you forward. And lastly, without any clarity, a positive mindset, a brand marketing strategy, and the tech tools, systems, and processes in place, you will not be able to take intentional, effective action. The reverse is also true. If you aren't taking intentional, effective action to achieve clarity and a positive mindset, to create a brand marketing strategy and implement the proper tech tools, systems, processes, automations, you will not achieve your goals. You'll feel stuck, overwhelmed, frustrated, doubtful, and guess what? You'll stay in that place of being stuck, that place where you're lacking growth. You're not growing in your business or for yourself. And what happens when we're in that state? We can become anxious. We can come be, become irritable with those around us, the people that we love the most. When we're frustrated, we don't feel good. We feel overwhelmed and we feel tired and burnt out. So the goal of the Purpose to Results Method is to help you stay healthy from a mindset perspective to a business perspective. So I want to share with you because this is why I chose to do this today because it is the 200th episode and I am celebrating this milestone. I wanted to share with you, I am now offering a new option for working with me. So those of you who have had a discovery call with me or who are working with me, you know, I have my six month one-to-one -one business and mindset coaching slash mentorship program that is called the CEO club. The reason it's called the CEO club is because you are the CEO of your business. And I want to help you get to that point where you're no longer doubting yourself and your abilities. You are taking control, complete ownership of your business. You are the CEO and you are moving it forward, whether you have a team or you're solo. The second option to work with me for the purpose to results method is the VIP day which is a one-to-one, -one, again, business and mindset coaching program or mentorship day where it's four hours power packed with information where we actually, I help you identify those struggles, what's holding you back so that you then can lead in your business versus being stuck and staying and doing all of these things that are not working for you. And then lastly, I am now offering, and this is brand new, hot off the press, a transformation hour. And again, it's one-to-one. -one. It's a one-to-one -one session where you and I sit down for an hour and we will discover what those barriers are that are holding you back. What's keeping you stuck? What's preventing you from moving forward and attracting the people that you want to attract in your business? And maybe you're just starting your business and you need some clarity around your purpose. This is a great hour for that. Um, any of these options are phenomenal for number one, you know, starting at the top, starting with clarity around your purpose and your God-led calling, identifying your soulmate clients, fine-tuning your niche. All of that is, is so great in any level of these programs. And then really the, um, the, the transformation hour, if you've already been building your business, but you do feel stuck, you're not growing at the pace that you had hoped for, then we can look at the obstacles. We can look at what's holding you back. What are those barriers that are preventing you from moving forward? I'm super excited to offer this new offering. I do still believe full heartedly that the CEO club is the best option for optimal long-term growth, but Hey, 
everybody has to start somewhere. So if you are ready to experience coaching, then the CEO club is incredible. The VIP day is incredible. But if you're just ready to feeling ready to get your toes wet, so to speak, then the transformation hour may be for you. But hey, you don't have to decide just by listening to the show. You get to learn more by booking a discovery call with me. And in that time, we will decide, are we a good fit? Can we work together? Can I help you? And are you actually ready to take intentional, effective action that is going to launch your business forward? Okay, guys, that is it. So I'm going to encourage you to go to the show notes, read the show notes um, just for more detail, more clarity around what the purpose to results method is. There is a great blog post also around what it means to be successful and what it means to build or start, have that solid foundation for long-term success. And what do I mean when I'm talking about that? Um, There are additional resource links in the show notes for other um, episodes, other blog posts that will help you really find more information that is going to push you forward instead of feeling confused or lost or overwhelmed with what steps should you take next. So again, I thank you so much. I love each and every one of you that comes and sits with me during these episodes, whether it's me solo or we have an interview. I'm just so grateful that you're here. I honor you. I respect you. I love you. Have a beautiful day and happy 200th episode. Thanks for being here.